Greetings and hello to another very exciting Breezy tutorial. This tutorial works in uh, WordPress and it works in Cloud. All you need to have is Breezy Pro and um, that's it. We need no other plugins, nothing else. And this, what you see right now, is what we are going to build today. We have once this um, text animation and as you can see we have a background animation, a gradient that all moves from right to left and left to right. So um, this is pretty simple to create. We are, will mainly work with uh, some CSS stuff. And as I said, it works in cloud. So I'll show it how you can do it in cloud. Um, as you can see, I'm here in my in my dashboard. Let's create a new project and jump right into it. So first of all, we need a block. Now in this block, we need a row. And here now we can generate our content. We start with an icon, then the header text, and then the basic text. So let's rename this one. So this will be our basic uh, setup. What we need to do next is we uh, set some custom uh, CSS classes. So um, ah, before we, yeah, let, let's do this one that way. Okay, I'm jumping into the settings, advanced settings. And right now over here, you can see CSS class. And there, let's type in our CSS classes. For the icon, we need awesome icon. And because you see it here, the, the icon starts hidden and is shown when we move our mouse over. We set another class and this one we call awesome hidden. You can name these classes whatever you want. Call them Paul, James, Panda Bear, who knows. Um, it works. Just remember what classes you've um, set because we are going to um, work with these names later on. So now we have here Awesome Icon and Awesome Hidden. I'm going to copy the Awesome Hidden because this is one thing we also need in the text. So I'm jumping into the text, settings, advanced settings, CSS class. I'm putting here my awesome hidden and also I'm putting awesome text. So this is very important. We have now the text and we have um, the, the icon placed with uh, a CSS. So next thing we want to set up is um, our, our div container because you see this works when our mouse is hovering over the whole div container and not just on the word. So blue arrow from the div, more settings, advanced. And here we call it um, awesome box. And that's it. Next thing we want to do, we uh, delete this one and duplicate this one three times. Um, it's important, uh, not really important, but it saves us a lot of work. Because now you can see we have awesome icon, awesome hidden, everything is as it was in our first thing. So this is um, the setup we need. 
Um, next thing we need uh, to add the animation, you click down here uh, on the right side to um, the settings of your project, jump into custom CSS. And there now we start to um, edit it a little bit. First of all, we start with our awesome icon. So this is now the class we are going to edit. And what we want here is our position. relative and we want the icon to start up a little bit above of everything so we set this one to top minus 50 pixel so this is now our awesome icon save changes publish and let's have a look if it works. Yeah, you see, um, the icon now definitely is further away than in our editor. So that one worked, amazing. Let's go on, CSS. Next thing we set is the awesome text. So this is our awesome text. We choose the same settings as before, but with one little difference. Uh, we don't set here a top, we say bottom. Save changes. Let's refresh. And you see the text now is further away from our heading in the middle. So next thing we want to do, we want um, to animate these. So back into custom CSS. Um, <clears throat> right now we would have um, the hidden field. Um, but if I'm setting the hidden element right now, I couldn't show you how uh, the rest works. So um, I'm leaving this out for right now. And let's start with the hover elements. Um, so we now want to animate awesome icon and awesome text. And we do this by working with these two. We now have awesome box in the hover mode and awesome icon. So let's work this out. We just set the top setting we had to minus 50 and put in now top zero pixel. Um, same thing, thing we do with the awesome text. So I'm going to copy this one, put it in here, just change here this awesome icon into awesome text and the top we change to bottom save changes so you see we come close to what we wanted um, right now it just jumps instantly we have no um, real animation and it's still not hidden so let's do this next <clears throat> so um, what we want to add now is the awesome height element <clears throat> and here we said uh, we want it hidden so we change the opacity to zero so everything's gone 
and um, the position will be relative. So I'm going to copy this one over. Um, next thing we want, uh, we have want the, the the smooth transition. So let's type in transition. We want all transitions changed, so we put this one to all. Then the time, half a second. And as animation, we choose ease. Uh, ease, yeah. In, out. So this is now our transition. Um, so we need one more thing. Um, because if I'm going to change uh, to save this one right now, and we're refreshing here, hmm. awesome hide. Oh, I think I made a typo there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I called it awesome hidden, not awesome hide. So we have here awesome hidden and the text we have awesome hidden. So yeah, that was my error. Uh, so let's jump back into CSS, not awesome hide, awesome hidden. So let's refresh again. Yeah, now you see nothing. So um, we need to bring our stuff back. So let's go to the lower section where we have all our hover stuff. And this time we work with awesome underscore box in the hover mode. And now we want to change, well, I just copied it in. We want to change awesome hidden. And in awesome hidden, we now want to change the opacity. And now this time we put the opacity to one. Save changes and refresh. There you go. So this uh, text animation already is working pretty nice. Uh, what we need next to copy this uh, trick here is this amazing gradient background that moves. So how can we do that? <clears throat> There's a little tool. It's uh, completely free. Um, it's, uh, you can find it at gradient-animator.com and it looks like this. So, um, first of all, we want to check all um, three browsers. And now what we can do, we just add a color. And let's pick, for example, let's pick this bright red. Then we want the next color. Uh, let's take the yellow one. Then you can add a third color for example the green one and the blue one and to finish everything back we put in the end another red um here you can choose the gradient angle so let's put this one for example to 45 percent uh, degree and the scroll angle I'm fine with that and here you can change the speed so to see how things look we just hit the preview button and Yeah, you already see our, our background uh, The green is a little bit too Bright also is the yellow let's change yellow to orange 
Tribune. Yeah, that looks better. So, um, next thing we do, um, we jump back into uh, Brizzy Cloud. You now click um, the settings for the whole block we just added. Go to more settings and here in advanced, we put our next class. We call this one now gradient background. Copy this one over. Uh, update. Then back into the custom CSS settings. So now we put this one here. Open our brackets. And from the gradient animator, you copy the upper part before this add. So we copy this and this will go here. And now we copy the lower part. And this goes below this closing bracket. Now let's save. <clears throat> Update again and let's watch if we can see already something. There you go. We now have the moving gradient background and we have our animation. So what you can do to make this a little bit more interesting, let's say for example, we have uh, like in the demo, we have a white block following next. Put this one to white. Then we go into our animation block, jump to the more settings to the dividers and pick a nice divider, for example, this one. And we set this to, uh, well, let's change the height a little bit more. So, and now we put this one to white. Update. And there you go. So, all what we need to do next is make sure that our text can be uh, it's, it's easy to read. So we put this everything to white. And you see it makes totally sense that this is the last step because um, now you can't see your elements, text and stuff like that in Breezy anymore because we are working with uh, a white background here. Let's update and have a final look. Isn't that cool? I hope this, uh, this, this little tutorial helps you to create um, some awesome stuff. And uh, we will see us in the next tutorial.